Recently, I've posted a reel on my Instagram with a very cool transition. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make that transition on DaVinci Resolve. Now, I've been doing a lot of DaVinci Resolve tutorial and I can see that many of you guys have uh, really liked and supported this type of content. For those who don't know, I'm Fenzer. I do travel tech and filmmaking on this channel. So if you're into that sort of stuff, please consider hitting the subscribe button. So it's a really cool uh, wipe transition which you can achieve on DaVinci Resolve or any editing platform easily. So here I'll be showing you on DaVinci Resolve, you can use the same technique on other editing platforms as well. So let me dive into DaVinci Resolve to show you how it's done. So this is the timeline of the video which you can see. So on the top, I have uh, a video of me closing the laptop and and right below I have a drone shot taken from UK. So I'll be showing you how to build this from scratch but but just let me show you what is happening in this video. So this is the video and you can see that right from this point this is where the transition is happening. Okay. As I move along you can see it is switching to the next video. Now if I disable this video you can see that it's a mask that is happening. Okay. Now if I come to the color page, you can see what is happening here in short. So this is the video starting as I'm closing. You can see the mask is taking over and transitioning it to the next video. So now let's build this from scratch. So let me just copy and paste this right here. Okay, so I've just copied and pasted this right here, but without any effects. So I have, uh, so I have the laptop closing. This is the one shot, and in the next shot, I have this drone flying. Now, to combine this, the very first thing that I have to do is find the point where you can do the transition. So in this case, I can see, as I told you, it's this gap which I want to fill in with the second frame. So let me go a little bit back. You can see right here there is a small gap. So this is where I'll be laying down uh, my second clip. This is my first clip. This is my second clip. So this is the point that I want the transition to start. Now I come to color page. Now we have to draw a mask. So for that, uh, actually this is my color grid. Uh, you need a node separately for creating this mask. So once you have done with the color grid, select a node for the mask, come here to the power window, select this one and click the pen tool. Now uh, let me pick a point where it's highly visible, probably right here. Okay. Now I'll draw a mask like this, just a rough mask. You can take enough time to make this mask the more time you take the more better results you have but for the sake of this video i'm going to show you a quick approach you have to close this loop to create a mask now the mask is created now if i select this one to show which portion of the video got selected in the mask you can see that uh, it's the portion below the mask that got selected but I want this portion to be selected so just click on this one to invert the mask okay so now this is the mask that you have but now if you off the mask window you can see that the cutting is very hard and very visible so to avoid that you come here there is something called softness just click on this outside softness to lit literally smoothen down the mask Okay, not too soft, but uh, somewhat, you know, don't make it very hard because it becomes easily visible. So around there is fine. Now let me turn on the power window again to see the mask. So this is the initial mask uh, shape that I have. Now you can see that this is my ninth node. For you guys, maybe it's different. Maybe you guys don't need to color grade. You can use it in the first node itself. But for me, this is the ninth node. So I come to 9, character 9, okay. I want to select a keyframe, okay. This is the start position that I want to select. I select this one right here, okay. So now this point is the start point. Now I go a couple of frames behind 
and i just move the mask a little bit up maybe a little bit here so it sorts of create an animation automatically so here is a keyframe now as i go further i want to move the mask like this and maybe move a little more little more and move this mask here and maybe i can increase the size here like this you can take much time to work on this because the more smoother the mask the more fine it looks now you can see that whichever point you adjusted it will automatically animate now at this point maybe i will increase the size a bit more to fill up the screen so now you can see that this mask is animated yeah i think it looks good okay now you want the footage to come here the second footage the drone footage to come in this gray area for that what you have to do is right click add alpha output so a blue circle will appear you just have to connect the dots and disable the gray uh, highlight so now you can see the second footage will appear inside the mask now if i disable this to off you can see the transition taking place now you can apply this technique to any such videos to get a really smooth wipe transition so i think this video was helpful to you in some way uh, if you did give me a thumbs up uh, that's pretty much it guys so if you guys have any questions or if you guys need a tutorial on any of the topics on davinci resolve leave them in the comments i will try and make them for you guys so that's pretty much it uh, thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next one